Hey yo, um, it's Saturday, March 16th, and I just did my first hard bike workout since coming back home from the camp, and I'm not gonna lie, I felt pretty terrible. Um, I've done mainly just, you know, easy aerobic volume this week, not even that much volume, to be honest, uh, it's just easy endurance stuff, no hard workouts until today I did my first hard session on the bike, I did two and a half hours on the trainer uh, where I did four times this 10 minute blocks where I did two, min two minutes, 10 seconds. Sorry, my recovery pump is a little broken. <laughs> uh, I, I did two minutes, 10 seconds at around 250 watts and then 20 seconds at 210 to 220 watts. And I'm not gonna lie, I just felt pretty Um which is exciting because next week I'm supposed to do bike testing. I, I uh, need to do three minutes, six minutes, and 12 minutes max test. And I'm not looking forward to it because I just don't feel like I can perform, but hopefully I'll just bounce back within the next couple of days. Also, I just realized that my hair looks really terrible. I did take a shower, but I did not water my hair because I have to run in a couple of hours. So that's why I'm just sitting here in my pajamas uh, in the recovery pump. Uh, with a uh, frizzy hair like this, but I'm sorry. Uh, this is not a beauty contest, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been a pretty, like, I'd say big struggle coming back home from the canneries to Finland. It's it's uh, not very nice here yet. It's like, I feel like a lot of the snow melted when we were gone but there is just so much like grit, like they had gritted all winter when new snow came, they just put a layer of grit over the snow. Hush. A layer of snow, a layer of grit over the snow each time. And now the snow is gone. So there's just like, you know, two inches of grit on the ground and it's just dirty and mucky and I just can't stand it. So it hasn't been a very like soft, landing back to your your normal life after just like a month of sunshine and just good vibes so i think that's probably another reason why i have felt so tired all week i've been just sleeping and wanting to sleep more all the time every time my alarm goes off in the morning i just can't stand it i just want to stay in bed but yeah hopefully this next week just is a little bit better and uh, I feel better physically and mentally. It's hard to push yourself when you're not feeling awesome. So hopefully that happens, but yeah. We've been back home for about a week now and we'll be here for another, a little over a week until it's time for our next travels. We're going to Sierra Nevada for about three weeks before my season opener in Valencia. So I'm really looking forward to going to altitude uh, for the first time since 2017. So I've only done uh, one altitude camp before. That was uh, 2017 in Flagstaff with my best friend, Kira, uh, before fall cross country season. And that went super well. So I like to think I'm a, a higher responder to altitude. I, sorry. I also have the altitude tent, like the hypoxico or whatever it was. Uh, that I used for a couple of years when I lived in Tennessee and I think that worked pretty well for me. There is some research that supports the altitude tent and I think it worked for me. I also have raced at altitude a couple of times uh, or mo actually multiple times while in college um, and I think I've done like relatively well. I'm excited for the training camp because I'm hoping to get a nice boost in my fitness before the first race of the year.
that hurt so much. I did exactly 330 watts. So before this, I was kind of predicting that I'd do somewhere between 320 and 330. But honestly, I had no idea. I didn't feel that good last week in my workout. So that's why my expectations were not super high. And also I had to, I had to do this uh, in the tuck, which just adds an element. When I got to the first minute and the minute and a half, it was so painful. And I thought about shifting down once and I did, but then I couldn't like pedal at a higher cadence. So I had to like shift back up <clears throat> and it's just kind of grind out. During the last like 15 seconds, the average power kept going between 329 and 330. And I just really tried to like drive it up to 330 average. So I finished at 330. And honestly, I couldn't have paced it any better and I couldn't have done any harder or any more power than what I did. Like that was really the best I could do today. And I'm pretty happy about that. That definitely is my all time best three minutes. We looked on training peaks and the previous one was 3.11 at the end of a workout. So I've never done a three minute TT. I feel like this is gonna get harder because next I have the six minute one and that just sounds awful. <laughs> now I have 45 minutes of easy riding and then 30 minutes brick jog. So like super easy 30 minutes after this with some drills. We'll see how that goes with my blister. But yeah, that's all. <laughs> If I've learned anything this winter, it's definitely uh, that I can run slower nowadays. I used to be so fixated with my running paces, like running over five minutes per K was like, never, I never do it. I couldn't do it. But I think this winter, my biking, has been way harder, like all my workouts have been way harder. Uh, and I've been riding more. And that's why I've kind of forced myself to slow down. And it's actually not that bad. I kind of enjoy this little jiggle jogging. <laughs> All done. Whee! It's getting dark. Man, it's like really wintry. It's like freaking March 19th. It's kind of cold and snowy. I feel like it was like pretty, pretty nice, like almost nice <laughs> when we came back home from Lanzarote. And now it's like back to this like winter muckiness um but yeah i'm pretty happy with my test honestly i didn't have any expectations uh the 20 second sprint that i had to do in the warm-up was not good 
I chose the wrong gear and it totally just failed. But I have to do it before each TT this week. So I have two more attempts, so hopefully those go better. But the three-minute test, not bad. Uh, exactly what I expected. So I guess I know my fitness. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.